My name is Geoffrey Deer and I am the organiser of this event to Wings Museum. What the event was today was lots of Morgan cars arrived and it made us all smile. Yes, well I think there were about 25 or 26 different types of Morgans and Morgans, some of the Morgans were probably 40, 50 years old and some were a year or two old. So you had a huge variation in the types of Morgans that were built and uh, they were built, Morgans were built of wood since the Second World War um, because of course steel was very difficult to get hold of. So there's some link between the traditional English sports car Morgan and actually what is on show here at Wings. So you say there are lots of different kinds, why do they all look very very similar? <laughs> yes, <laughs> well I think it's because Morgan started off uh, making three-wheelers, progressed um, in the 30s, 20s and 30s into four-wheel cars as well but that tradition remains and if you saw a Morgan built in 1925, 1930 35, you'd instantly recognise it as a Morgan. So there were certain things that they've decided uh, they kept. One was the cowling and the broad style of the car. But they liked the traditional methods and they still keep to those traditional methods. And they just now, as a style of car, represent, I suppose, um, the history of uh, uh, British motoring. And, I mean, as beautiful a British sports car as you can really drive. Yeah. Yes, they're not built for comfort. <laughs> um, There's a lot of hats being worn today. <laughs> yes, so you can pay an awful lot of money for a brand new one, but you can still get wet if, uh, if, if it rains. But you will buy it for the originality and the fact that it is handmade. And what happens with them is that probably after about 20 to 30 years, a lot of people then will have them renovated and once they're renovated they've got another 20 or 30 years so it is not uncommon to find a Morgan of 40 or 50 years old that might have only done 15 or 20,000 miles so it's not the mileage it's, it's just the age and, and it's something people have and they pass on to the next generation they, to enjoy they, they they often do and I suppose from a commercial point of view because of the uniqueness the value tends to be pretty stable mm. but people buy them for the fun and because they're quirky and because um, they just like traditional things lots of fresh air um, <laughs> so, so your car is 40 years old what how would you describe it an old lady <laughs> um, you take a look at you think is this going to get me from A to B <laughs> but it always does always does so you've come to visit wings today yeah. what do you think of the place I think it's quite unique. I think um, it's one of these places that a lot of people would see the signs and say, wings, what does that mean? Um, and then I must go and visit, but possibly don't. So coming in an organised group uh, encourages people uh, to look. And I think it's uh, a different museum because it also tries to put uh, the human picture together with the um, uh, parts of, uh, of these aircraft. And so that makes the stories uh, very poignant. Mm. So but certainly every part has a story behind it yeah. and it is hopefully illustrated in some yeah. way. Yes, that, that's, that's exactly right. And, uh, and I think that makes it um, a, a really interesting um, uh, type of museum. And I hope it goes from success to success because uh, let's not uh, underestimate the costs of running something like this. The people involved and their volunteers and they have to give a lot of their time. And some of these people uh, have really great expertise and you can see the plans that they're working on, that they really are experts in engineering and, and, and building. Uh, um, Aeroplanes are complicated. So it's really uh, an expertise um, uh, quite unique. Uh, really impressed. I think everybody enjoyed it. They loved, loved the occasion. And um, it was enjoyable for all. The only thing I would say is that we as a group tend to be possibly um, slightly older. <laughs> um, so it's certainly of interest to, to, to that generation, but it should be also of interest to children, younger people, just to see what some of these young people had to go through at that time. And the fact that at the moment we're concerned about Ukraine and things, a lot of the stories seem to be getting repeated and uh, we're seeing it all through the Instagram eyes now. Well, you can see actually the destructive force of weaponry on these aircraft. And of course we're seeing pictures from Ukraine showing this, the same sort of thing. And uh, it tries to depict here some of the stories of people, but this is happening as we speak. Whether you're sitting in a tank, in an armoured car, or flying a plane, or just a bomb actually dropped on you. 
So it does um, have relevance to what's happening today.